didn't look scary, but that, that was an experiment. What I wanted to do was instead of the trickle charger, I ran the, the gray and white wires uh, to the back. I have a solar panel in the house that I set there so that the solar panel would keep that trickle. So, okay, go ahead. So that's the variable pot, a variable potentiometer, you know, uh, brightness knob on the dimmer, if you will. There's a micro switch that clicks first to say that, okay, that the pedal is being moved. And then the motor starts to turn at its minimal speed. And then beyond that, you know, it's just, you'll see when I turn the key and I step on it, you'll see this move. That's the 1000 amp controller. And uh, this little block on the wall is the shunt for the battery management system that shows you how many amps you're drawing from the, from the main battery bank and so forth. The ignition key, the electrical contacts, are very small, don't handle a lot of amperage. Okay. So turning the key on turns on this relay. And this relay turns on the big main contactor. And then it, that's all there is to the car, really. <laughs> um, oh, I should explain this also. Uh, this is the, this little cylinder here is the vacuum pump for the power brakes. Oh, okay. It turns yeah. on and off all by itself. You don't have to do anything. It just tries to maintain 19 inches of, of uh, mercury, is it? Um, or is it water? I think it's mercury. And uh, um, so when you first turn the key, you'll hear and then it turns off when it's ready. Um, and every time you step on the brakes, you'll hear a little for just a 30 seconds or so. This was, again, the experiment with the solar panel to plug the solar panel into, but uh, this can all be removed, as, uh, as that wasn't all that successful when the cover was covering the solar panel. And what on that side is the, inside here, he put two DC to DC converters in parallel for redundancy to provide the 12 volts to the vacuum pump. Ah, okay. So that way you're, you're guaranteed you've got your got your power brakes uh, with the weight of the batteries you want to have some extra extra boost um, let's see is there anything else under there the the main DC to DC converter is in the center console it's easy to get to that's the yellow the yellow cord there the, the yellow cord goes under the dash and it looks like a electrical receptacle, uh, and the DC to DC converter is is just plugged into it, and so that that's easily removed if anything ever went wrong with that. And people don't complain that things go wrong with it. So he's got some big fuses here, fuse here, a fuse here, and one fuse there. I put LEDs. Um, LED taillights in. With the potentiometer. So this is the low speed mode. Oh, I always pump up the brakes. Oh yeah, sure okay. It's been sitting. Yeah, this, this battery's down to 12 volts per battery. It normally sits a bit higher, so because these haven't been charged, it's probably going to go down pretty fast. We will make a short one. <laughs> we don't want to walk home. <laughs> um, so no clutch, just the motor's not turning, so we just put it in reverse. Straight back into third gear, normal speed.
Here we go. Air conditioning. Oh, that's that's an inter interesting story. Let me tell you about the air conditioning. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, um, if you turn this off, I'll have to plug this in now. <laughs> the uh, tell me about the air conditioning. This is this is really a great idea. There's a there's a box under here, and it's like a heater core, and this tube, you know, air conditioning takes a lot of electricity. Yeah. So what he did, this is a tiny bilge pump, and there's a, there's a plastic cooler. This is the return line. You take this plastic cooler, you put the ice packs in it, you drop the pump in it. There's a hole for this, the return line, and the cooler sets here. And when you turn the fan on, it circulates the ice water through the heater core and cold air comes out. No way. Let's <laughs> be honest. This is, this, you can feel this hum when I, when I turn it on. Yeah, it did, yeah. It's, it's just a little build pump. Two amps, three amps, three and a half, four and a half, and five and a half, so you can be back it down a little, it's just a five amps, is it? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay so we're, we're pushing in five amps. Um, and you see we used 15 amp hours on our, on our little test run. And down here, I just put this little clamp meter on this little outlet to show that we're drawing, drawing about almost nine amps from the house. The more you turn, the more amps you push into the batteries, the more amps it draws from the house.